I'm Angel Hendricks, artist from Baltimore, Maryland. I say I'm on one, I'm all in. She want the Bergen bag, so I get it in. Rebel gang light it up, like Times Square. We go anywhere, Times Share. I grew up on a lot of Michael Jackson. Um, I love the entertainers, you know, uh, as far as rap go, of course, Biggie. Um, you know, Tupac, I was a big J fan. I grew up in that era. Uh, but my first love for music came from Michael Jackson, the art of performing, the art of, uh, you know, pleasing arenas full of people. Um, that's what I fell in love with. I got to use a rap from Battles, um, high school. It was a guy, you know, still my best friend to this day, Donovan, Death Star the King. Um, he was battling at a football game. And, um, I fell in love with just battle rap. It's like cracking and you can be who you want and you still get to act a little bit. I didn't know what making music was. I didn't know that was gonna be my that was gonna be my love, but I fell in love with just the art of, you know, I guess shit talking in a way. Yeah, I did. A lot of people don't know that. But um I got some notable wins. You know, I beat Maniac Dre. I beat Savage. Um, I think I would, a lot of people say I retired too late. A lot of people say, I mean, too early. A lot of people say, like, man, you should have kept going. But I felt my real love. You know, I felt the love of making music and, you know, making timeless, making things that are always in time. You know, um, a good song never goes nowhere. So that's more my aim now. All right, what was that transition like for you? And like, what prompted you to go from battle rap to being in that booth? I realized ain't nobody know my words. <laughs> they knew that, damn boy, Angel killed him last time, but couldn't remember nothing I said. So, honestly, and my 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 lady friend would be proud of me. I guess it goes to me being self-consumed and uh, self-absorbed. I needed more recognition. You know, battle rapping wasn't getting me the uh, recognition I wanted. So I thought I need to start making songs. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I be thinking sometimes, like, man, you need to go back. Just give him one. You know, get somebody that got some that got some clout and give him one. And I believe I could, but um, I have just – I love Battle Rap where it's at right now. It's, it's not just Battle Rap. It's a culture. You know, it's dudes making a living off that. And as young blacks, you know, that's all we ever wanted was different avenues to make money, different avenues to support our families. So, um, yeah, battle rap is at a good place right now. My favorite battle rapper is you dude conceited because I seen where battle rap can take you. He started battle rap. He on Nick Cannon wilding out. He on MTV. So, you know, the possibilities are endless. Um, I think battle rap is at a great time, and I hope it continues to evolve the way, you know, that music has. All right, taking it back a little bit, uh, anybody in your family, musicians, or do music? No, that's the crazy thing. Uh, I mean, it's, it's no secret. Um, I was adopted. So, I don't know. The answer to that question could very well be yeah. But um, um, I've, I've always been the outcast. I've always done different things because, you know, naturally, I'm not in my bloodline. But I love my family. Um, they are my family. Family is not defined by blood. It's defined by time and devotion. And they've given me all that. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know. Not in my family I know now, but maybe out there somewhere. Maybe I was, uh, maybe it's in my bloodline somewhere. Hip-hop was Big Papa. Um, how'd you get introduced to uh, Biggie? My mother. Um, my mother straight East Baltimore. Song. Mother straight East Baltimore. First song was Today's Agenda. Got the suitcase up in the Sentra. Go to room 112. Tell them Lago sent you. I don't know what the name of that song is. But it was the first time I heard the story and understood it. What a beat. Um, being a kid, I can understand a story on a book or, you know, through a movie. But that was the first time in my life I understood a story from a beat. And um, to this day, yo, I still tell people, like, I love Tupac. His influence on hip-hop is undeniable. But... Lyrics wise, I mean, he was an average MC. Um, I'll say it again for my West Coast home. I love Pac. Pac was a revolutionary. Um, Pac was passionate. There's a lot of things about Pac that 
you know, I can marvel at. I think they got caught up with the hits. They, they did. He just had so many. They did. Hits. But they don't know if you put a whole Biggie CD in, you get bars from beginning to end. I'm talking about the things that we like today when we hear, like, damn, he said this. Biggie was doing that. Like, and, and he was painting pictures. You know what I mean? Um, but I love Pop, you know, but I'm, I'm team Biggie. You know, Biggie was... Biggie sculpted my childhood. When Biggie died, I was on Hugo over East. I was on Hugo, um, you know, by Harford Road and all that. And I remember seeing people outside crying. Um, Baltimore people outside of, you know, 97 Mazdas and Old Benzes on Hugo crying. And some of the people had never met this man, but he had touched them that much that, he, that they had cried. I could only hope to, you know, get my legacy half half the way that is. So Biggie is a, you know, Biggie's a huge influence to me. Uh, can you remember the first song you made? First song I made was called Charm City. Charm City B, more. That's where I be. The city where we ride and we rock them white tees. Yeah, I, I remember that. Um, it was the free size white tee era. We was wearing them big ass t-shirts. And um, my man, my man Death Star, the one I'm telling you about, he was in Sedonia, Garden Village. He was like, I heard they got studio around here. At this time, I ain't thinking I'm ready for no studio type stuff. But I went in there, and he said, well, I got this beat. You know, I made this beat, and I want to see if you can rap to it. Now, before I even got to the beat, I battled seven people. Killed them. All of them. I mean, they call them people. Yo, come around here, man. Nigga in the basement think he nice. You know, come around here. Murdered all of them. Shout out to Young Easy and uh, Young Nod. And, um... Yeah, Charm City B more. That's where I be. That's all I remember. But that was my first song. That was my first time I heard myself record it. And that's when I fell in love and became the most conceited person in the world because I said, damn, I like the way I sound. Like, I want to hear me all the time. 